it's it don't hit as a horse no more, which right. we all know <laughs> that means you glue they get they get killed. Yeah, right. Yeah. Even if they don't die themselves, they're gonna get shot because we've determined yeah. that like if a horse can't horse, it's got <laughs> no business being alive. And so. I- they're the Where are you at? I'm just in the car. Well, Where here we car are. Is. Here we are, but Drew's in a car. Where's the car? Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, have you done that new room yet? No, it's not open yet. It's closed. I knew it was, I knew it was soon. When is it opening? We're talking about Zanies, y'all. Yeah. Um, it's supposed to be open yesterday, so oh. I can't. I can't accurately accurately answer that. I think yeah. they're open two weeks. I saw it. I mean, it, it's close. Yeah. First off, shout out uh, Drew to that original uh, piece of well read merchandise you got on your head. That is the OG first hat we ever sold. I found this when I was moving, along with three Gypsy Speedboat T-shirts. <laughs> Which that reminds me, by the way, something I've wanted to mention just because I've thrown the logo up here. We've been doing this fucking podcast for seven goddamn years. Isn't that crazy? Sure that's, is. That's honestly too much. Yeah, I agree. Let's just... All right, I'll see y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it is about time. Uh, <laughs> like, what if, we, what if we really... Do, what if that... What that if was we it. Just stopped, I just, yeah, brought, we just brought logged that off. Up. You posted this. <laughs> And we never posted anything ever again. Um, Nobody clarified on their socials or nothing. We just right. like, just like, yeah, y'all want to just stop? Yeah, all right. And then we just stop. Yeah. I, I do feel like down. I do feel like when it comes to an end, it will be some some type of that unprofessionalism as Drew uh, yeah. is gone. Yeah. yeah, right. Uh, he'll he's probably be in and out, y'all. So here's the deal, just so y'all know. He's uh Drew is moved back to uh tennessee that's some uh family issues we got to get into all that but so he's in tennessee but he's in nashville right now and so he's kind of yeah. you know he's out there in the wild see he's not he's not got a stable situation set up so he may be coming in and out he is coming in and out apparently i do have a stable situation everything is strong someone just keeps fucking calling me and i can go airplane mode right now oh yeah right you can go D and D. What does that mean? Swipe down, disturb. swipe down on your phone like you would go to airplane mode, and yeah. it'll say personal or whatever, and just click that, and it can go to do not disturb, and you won't be able to have to receive calls. There's no personal. This is great. Well, it, maybe it doesn't say anything. Here, let me let me show you on my. Got it. Okay. Got, it. got it. Fucking a. Hey, you know what? I'm leaving that in because there's a lot of people that need to know about that feature that do not know about that feature. My mom is one of them that I had to teach because. We would be sitting there at the house, and I don't know if y'all, the boomers in your life, are the same as the boomers in my life. They're um, all bad, but go ahead. Right. Well, yeah. you lucky, lucky, <laughs> um, because you'll never have to experience this. But anyways, that my, my my mom and the boomers in my life, they don't know that you can have your notifications silenced at all. They think they have to ding, like it can't even be a vibrate. It has to ding, and my mom will just sit there during dinner and one of her old lady fucking bridge groups or whatever will be like on a hater and her phone's just going ding, 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 ding. And, and she's like, God, Jesus, I wish they would quit texting. And I was like, mama, just silence your fucking phone. And she's like, what if it's a fire, you know, or right. whatever. I was like, everybody in this room, we're your family. You don't need to hear it from anybody but us. And she just kept getting annoyed by it. And so finally I taught her about do not disturb, which my phone lives in perpetuity on do not disturb if i look down and i see you called i'll fucking call you back but everybody out there utilize it it will change your life do you have but to if do somebody it calls me right now won't it still interrupt our stream shouldn't no it should no. go straight to voicemail uh, and then you'll just get a notification that they called last of this riveting technical conversation i we're think having, i'm helping I'm, people well i hope you are because I've, well, I've got a follow-up question for it uh in line with this if do you know, do you have to do it separately on your Apple computer, your MacBook or your iMac? Because like my phone is tied to my computer 
So sometimes when I'm recording, I'll get a call and it'll pop up on my computer and I can just silence it real quick. It's fine. It don't cut me off. But like if I put it on do not disturb, will it be everything? Phone, tablet, computer, none of it rings. If it's uh, if I or do I got to do it to all of them. That's a good question, and frankly, yeah. I don't know the answer to it. You would think though, but um, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, I wanted to know, Drew. Uh, you know, what's going on in Scott County? Not, I don't mean with you. I mean in general. Like, you know, what's the hot guys there? What's the situation? What's the the temperature? Four one one. Yeah. Yeah. Um. They've taken Spike, the, the town special Who's guy. taking it? They've the taken special his. special guy. Yeah. Yeah, they've taken his four-wheeler. They took his car. That ain't fair. <laughs> oh, no. Then they took his side-by-side. No. Now he can't have a four-wheeler, so he's on bike now. Buddy, Scott right. County's town, our word, is doing better than 90% of Clay County. He got a fucking, got a car, he's a side-by-side, side, yeah, and a four-wheeler. He's got a house. They he's came from my sidecar and I said nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, uh, so, uh, uh-huh. yeah. Now, so for people listening, they refer to Spike as the town R word. Yes. I don't. Of course. Always. They do. He's not mentally handicapped in the way that you would classically think of that. He got into an accident and suffered some brain damage. So, top two. Yeah. So he's not like, he doesn't have Down <laughs> syndrome. And yeah, I, he got I've swish burned. about this before. His brain, according to them, now I don't think this is true based on my limited interactions with him, but according to them, he got an accident at like 15 or 16 and he just stopped developing, so he's stuck right. there. But he's also tried to assault multiple women, which is why they mm-hmm. keep taking his vehicles away. Because it's like that. they just keep thinking, like, well, he can't throw one on a bicycle, you know what I mean? <laughs> but there, but I like when I found out that I found that out like a year after knowing about him, and they were like yeah, yeah, and he was like, he's like stuck as a 16-year-old. I'm like, I really hope that's not true because if it is, you guys are letting a 16-year-old try to kidnap women, and right. then instead of putting him in a situation where he can't do that, you're just taking vehicles away from him like as if he got caught with beer. Right. Well, we, look, at least they're taking some measures. When I was in the 90s, when I was a kid <laughs> in, in Salina – there are town art, which everybody called him the town R word, like you said. Everybody, his name was I don't know if I should say it. Okay, he was uh, you know, we'll call him Ronnie, Ronnie, right? Ronnie. It was it was alliterative, it did start with an R, but so did know, ours, Ronnie, the Ronnie that you know, but anyway, so, did, so did ours, yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, but anyway, he <laughs> he had a similar thing going on, like he would. It was a known thing. He lived like right in town. His brother owned a prominent like convenience store and had a lot of money. And his brother bought him a house in town. He lived right in town. And like, it was a known thing. He'd pull his wiener out, jerk it off, whatever, in like to school girls, like high school girls, nothing crazy, right? (laughs) Nothing, you know, (laughs) fifth graders or whatever. But like high high school girls. Oh, dude, he was 40s, 50s. I mean, I was a kid, so he might have been my age. He to me at the time he seemed old as fuck, but I guess he could have been like 35 or something. I don't know. But either way, or not be jerking off to high school girls. Uh, And he just you know, in front of them, like he'd just pull out right, you know, like and and like it was a known thing, and it was the it was just kind of (laughs) like so you know, watch out for that. You know, like (laughs) like right that nobody suggested any kind of action be taken or anything. It was just like, yeah. That's Ronnie. Well, you'll He'll do that. that. You know, you'll have that. Yeah. So just keep your head on a swivel, ladies. You know. But the key <laughs> difference, and this is what blows my mind, is what would they have done? Right. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's you'd have like to like Chinese lock finger him up trap. Or yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude. That's, that's thinking that's, that's thinking on your feet right there, Chad. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, because that's sort of my point with this is like this dude has some went, but listen, 16 is not true. I've interacted with the guy like, but my point is like, they could do more because this guy's not anyway, you know, at some point, I guess it gets a little uncomfortable because it's like, we're making fun of everyone who's mentally challenged, but like, I'm not, I'm saying this right. guy stay right. kidnapping women. Right. And right. you're just like grounded from your Ford Explorer. Like, yeah. Y'all need to do something else, right? Because he's yeah. stuck as a shitty, 
Right. He's stuck as a shitty 16-year-old if he is a 16-year-old. I think it's probably more like 11, like from the right. interactions. and But like 11-year-old, like if they start to turn down a dark path, you got to do – I don't know, dog. Look, it's none of my business. The town of Sky County, I'm now a citizen of there. Maybe next time we vote on what to do about the town R word, I'll make my – you know, I'll stump speech it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll get on that soapbox and say what I think. But until then, I'm just sort of like, yep. There he is again, and there's a new – every time I'm in town, there's a new story about him doing it or trying it again. And I'm also like – I'm hearing about it at Christmas. Why are these women – I don't want a victim blame, but it's got to be easy to avoid him. He's loud and <laughs> R-worded, and you can see him coming on a bicycle. Right. Maybe and he's, he's maybe he's chasing him down, but I don't think he is. I think it's just like, hey, Spock, how you doing? And sometimes he's like, good, how are you? And sometimes he's like, you're coming with me. Right. Yeah, it's funny because, well, I mean, none of this is funny, but like our uh, our town, that one, um, he didn't do none of that stuff, but they treated him, and like you're saying, he did all this stuff and they don't do anything about it. Ours didn't do any of that stuff, but they treated him as if he might. Mm -hmm. Because like, so, and he's, dude, This I'm not going to say his name either, but sweetest dude ever. Everyone loves him. Like, I promise you when he dies, it'll be the most people that have ever been packed into that funeral home. Him and, I don't know if they're still doing it, but for a while, him and my dad had a standing lunch date to get barbecue. And they'd done it for like years. And I found out about it through somebody else. Like dad had never. It's told funny me. to imagine your dad at that lunch, that weekly lunch date, just being like, I wish you were my son. Why couldn't yeah. he have been my son? You know what I mean? With the <laughs> It's also funny. It's also funny to think about. Corey, why can't you be more like him? <laughs> it, it's also very possible that, that my dad doesn't know he's the town R word. And he's yeah. like, this guy's got some really good ideas. You should hear him. Um, I, but I anyway. I want to say how funny it is because I've changed the name, the nickname of ours. Of, I guess ours. I live there now. Um, we're all like, we won't say the name as if people listen would be like, man, I, I don't know who he's talking about. Right. Yeah. That's if true. Anywhere nearby. Yeah, but I don't know. I just always feel weird about it. Also, out, Ronnie, Ronnie's long since dead. I mean, yeah, he's been ours, dead since probably 2002 long. or three. Ours or something is not, like that. thank but, God. But, anyways, uh, but also, no, I know it's, it's killing me. Ours is yeah. killing me. It's killing ours me. Ours is not. <laughs> It's bothering me right now because I know what the actual name is, Drew, and there's a joke that I made when I first learned his name that I want to make now, but I can't because I don't want to give his name away, but, you know, I'll just text it to y'all later, I guess. <laughs> now, I, I will say that, It's about his name, just so y'all know. It is pretty rough, though. Now, anyway, go ahead, I'm Joe. saying that ours didn't do any of that stuff. There is a rumor that when he was way younger that he did try to drown a lady in a mud puddle, right? Yeah, you'll have but, that. I maintain that that's bullshit because he's never tried anything like that since. And it's not like he learned from his mistake. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you're the type that does that, you keep doing that, but he's been nothing but sweet, but of so like, he deserved it. that's true. I think there's a lot of maybe that, but like, so he used to cut, he was, and he probably still does at the ball fields every day, watching the games, nothing sinister. Just like he liked watching the games. Everyone treated him right. If the concession stand wasn't just giving him free food, which they normally did, we were all taking care of him, buying him stuff. He was a fan of every team. He just wanted the kids to have fun. Well, this one time, my dad was the president of the rec, right? And um, so my dad decided, hey, needs a shirt from every team. So dad ordered extra adult shirts for Rev. He's like, these are, you know, wear whichever one you want, but you got one for every team, you know? And of course, was fucking over the moon about it. Well, that night he was leaving the ball field and he walked everywhere. <laughs> well, anyways, um, the, the night my dad gives him all these baseball jerseys, he's walking home and he gets stopped by the police who fucking 100% know who he is, right? They stop him with all these jerseys and they like are about to take him in for theft because they were like, oh, he must have just went down to the rec center and stole all these jerseys. And they call my dad, assuming like he's going to be like, oh, I didn't know he did that. Please take him to jail. And my dad was like, are you fucking serious right now? Like, my dad went down there to console him and was like, hey, no, I gave him these jerseys. You know, he's a very great man, whatever. But they, but there was always sort of that, like, watch out for him. And it's like everyone was like, he's not, he's never done anything wrong. The worst well, thing that ever happened was completely 
Okay, and this happened a lot, but it was an accident. He used to make his own shorts, okay? Sure. And yeah. he would make... That's just like, efficient. He'd yeah. get overalls, but he was like, pants don't hit. But no, the over... The, oh, they, he, I want these to be over most. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So yes. he would cut them into Over shorts. Sums. Yeah. And on one leg, he would accidentally go a little too short and so one would hang balls. out. Yes, one would right. hang out. But they just took, they just sent somebody to go get him more britches. And then he was like, okay, you know, and it, everything yeah. was fine. Well, didn't you say, uh, first, the whole, like, your whole thing about, like, oh, everybody always acted like, oh, you know, be careful around him, but just watch it or whatever. Did you say a minute ago that at one point before you were born or before you can remember, he almost drowned a girl in a puddle, didn't you say Some that? people said that, but I'm saying, like, I'm talking about... You know, that'll do it. That'll the, leave but a the lasting people, impression. But the people who were being like, watch out, watch out, was always the cops. It was never people, because people were like, right. oh, no, he's our dude. But I'm saying, like, I think that that is fucking propaganda started by the cops so that they okay. can have an excuse to pick up on some trumped-up charges or whatever. Yeah, just the other day... When I was at home for them funerals, I was staying with Thompson and Thompson's wife, she was talking about she was in the same grade as a Down syndrome kid we had in school. Right. And uh, we we're all talking about how awesome he was, how sweet he was, how funny he was and all this stuff. And she said, uh, maybe it was him or it might have been the one that was in my grade. The one I don't know how to say it, the, the mentally handicapped kid that was in my grade. Right. One of the two. They were both super sweet. and Everybody loved them. And I never heard this story, but she told me, she was like, yeah, once when I was a freshman, he came up and grabbed me and bear hugged me so hard, I almost blacked out, like I almost, you know, passed out, like I couldn't breathe or whatever, because, you know, they'd be yeah, strong. strong yeah. So it's almost, I was like, God, you know, you almost got of mice and mend, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, so like, you, like. it's a thing, you know, you do it, have yeah. to, because I'm sure all he was doing was like giving her a big old hug because right. he loves her so much or whatever, but like she was a frail little 14 year old and like you know about about i mean uh, about smushter to me you gotta watch them obviously you ain't gotta this, treat them like shit that's what nothing. i'm saying you right, got you yeah. do have to watch them the same way that you would a kid because you never know what they're gonna do and like it, they might make an accident but like again there was just like from some of the cops not all the cops was just like yeah he was a second class citizen that you know like oh right. we, we wish he just We'd rather him just not be here. And it's like, bro, we got to have him here. Like, he it wasn't ain't black, was he? It, no, that's okay. the, that's the well, thing. That's the cop's problem. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, they, they don't have any blacks. So they got to right. for them. Yeah, yeah, right. You know? Yes. And He's DJ the moved. Yeah. So they didn't that's, have a poor person in a trailer to brutalize. Right. So. Man, yeah. that's so true. Yeah. Uh, well, well, we did that. What do y'all so, think? That? We had a recent... I don't know if we ought to get into this, but I do want Drew's input on. I think he, you might have been moving at the time or something, Drew. I don't think you engaged with it. There was a brief thread thing with us three and Mark where cops got brought up and like That's a good segue. From... Interna international cops, uh -huh. right? And I basically said, I was like, look, I mean, dude, our cops don't hit, but I think I'd rather have to fuck with our cops than like Russian or Colombian or like. I don't know, Thai or Cambodian or some of these other countries, cops, Somali, and cop, they don't even have cops, I don't think, because I ain't Hell no. I know that. But, you know, and Mark, Mark was like, he was like, dude, our cops train with the IDF. Like, they fucking inflicting pain as they're like, in. he went in this whole thing. He was like, I don't think anybody's worse than our cops. And I was like, dude, our cops do not hit. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, right. But like, I think that there's some worse cops out there, like, in terms of, Cops, prisons, just all that stuff. Like, you don't want to be fucking caught with weed in some of these countries. Ask Brittany Griner about that, it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's law, not cops. Yeah, but you think that they would they would treat you all right, even when the laws are not I'm, draconian? I feel like they could get away with a lot I more. I have no and, idea. I mean, I'd say in some of these countries, the correct feeling you have is probably their armies more than their cops. I don't know that for sure, but I would say, like, the sort of stuff we're fed and some of it's accurate about like, well, Russia, I would say it's what's the Russian version of the Gestapo. I don't, I could be wrong, but KGB. I think like KGB scary. I would say Russian police are just a bunch of podunk motherfuckers who have like shitty well, guns. So and like, you can, and you can bribe them and stuff too, right? They're like crooked. So it's like, right. That's the other way. I, I ended up bringing that up when I was thinking about, like, Colombian cops. I was like, fuck, dude, you could probably 
rail all kinds of coke with a Colombian cop at a strip club or whatever. Well, if you, you know, got money right. here, you can do that to ours, I'd say. Yeah, but you don't have to have real money in these right. other countries. Isn't that's like, American, you, you know, like. Like, I wouldn't want to smoke weed in Thailand, but if you're just talking about an interaction in traffic. Right. Yeah, yeah dog. Like, but I, I, I doubt we're the worst. Just, Aww. there's got to be a country that's using their police literally, like, the things the left says about what we do in our country, and I've said it, and I think it's true to some extent. I mean, I think our cops, it's clear that they, like, protect property and capital more than they actually serve people. I would say there's places where that's not even hidden, though. Right. But but it's like nothing's coming to mind, and I haven't paid attention to that stuff in a long time. Because anyway, to, to get at your question, I don't think we're the worst, but I think Smart Mark's on to something. Because if you, mm. if you consider the training... The weaponry, which is nuts, which yes. is nuts. And then in the last 20 years, the culture's gotten even worse. Our, well, the mix of like our police unions being so powerful. And then frankly, the pushback we've given cops, it's like made decent people stay away sure. from being a cop. So they've gotten worse and they've gotten dumber as they can't get people to do it. Uh, I am v very afraid of our cops. But don't you think... On that note, and this is getting, I, you know, I thought it was a fun little hypothetical. Now we're like diving deep into it. But don't, I was just talking about on my Patreon. Oh, that's about that's this true about ago. cops. That'll be. Like I know. <laughs> I know. Well, I was talking about fucking Mexican cops. You know, I thought it might be kind of fun. Anyway, uh, I do. Don't you feel like it's at least now compared to the 70s, 80s, 90s, even the 2000s? it is understood that it's generally less acceptable the kind of shit they used to get up to. They have to cover their tracks more if they want to do it now. Right. Yeah. They've got it. They've got PR now. Like they know that now they know they used to be able to just straight up get away with it all the time. Now they know that, you know, it's not so simple anymore, which still equals an improvement. I don't know if I agree with you or not. I'm hopeful that you're right. One, I mean, what are they, what happens to them? Like I can think of one cop who's gone to prison for like a, well publicized shoot maybe two um used to they didn't even go to trial though is the thing you know what i mean like all that yeah able, media like, they were definitely able to hide it but i yeah i think you're right i guess i opened with i'm ho i hope you're right i think you're right the counter to that the, the potential counter to that is um first of all they're learning lessons over and over again that there is no consequences turn your body cam footage off you don't go to jail uh body cam footage is fucking obvious but fucking 40 percent of the country's still going to defend what you did because they love cops that much so it's like maybe it's getting worse in that way and then second of all going back to what i just said i don't know if cops were always as douchey as they are probably like generally you know i'm sure some of them aren't uh like in the 70s but they weren't as like militarized that's definitely true, yeah. So, like, you could de definitely, it was worse in the 70s. Like, if cops decided to disappear someone, it was easier for them to do. If cops, something went bad in an interaction and they wanted to cover it up, it was absolutely easier for them to do. Well, have, but, you, have you seen the movie Copland from the 90s? So good. Star-studded, great movie. It was cracking great. me up. I'd never seen it, and I watched it for the first time about six months ago or something. Oh, what? It, it you was watched it when I did. Yeah, I know. We texted about it. I know, I know but I thought you were the one that told me to watch it. I did, but I had just watched it. Ah. Uh, right. And anyway, it was cracking me up because, like, part of the whole thing in that – and that it's set in the 90s or whatever, maybe, in the, and, and part of the whole thing is, like, goddamn fucking can't do shit no more. Yeah. Like, the, like, they were yeah. like, you know, you can't, can't just kill people anymore like the good old days, and, like, every character's a cop, and it's like – it's you know, it's like uh, – I don't know. It was just wild to me because I was like, damn, they wasn't even – they didn't know how good they had it. Right. The right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cops back then. I mean, if there, if the culture of being a cop was as corrupt, I would say, and maybe I think I would use the word vile as it can be now. Like the, the NYPD comes to mind. Like I think the culture of the NYPD is genuinely vile. I think that anybody who says otherwise is not paying attention. If it was like that back then, it was definitely worse. Like if the culture right. was that vile, then yes, everything else made them gave them the ability to just fucking brutalize whoever they wanted. Well, what you about what? this? We should ask an old black man. Yeah, yeah. we should a hundred percent. OJ uh, Simpson in particular. Yeah. Oh, wait. yeah. So no, so what about this? You know, we're talking about how like back in the day they 
they weren't held accountable at all. And but what about now since they are held accountable and it does get black? No, right. no, no. I mean by pu- by the public. Like I mean what the, I mean yeah. is by the court of public opinion only because back then it didn't even go to the court of public opinion because you would have just never mm-hmm. known about it. So because they are being held accountable by the court of public opinion. I'm positing that that has made cops even douchier because now they have this chip on their shoulder where they didn't used to have that. You know what I mean? I I didn't know that's where you were going with it. And I was like teeing that argument up. Yeah. If nothing else, like I said, if there was somebody who was, I think it's turned some people off from being a cop because of how they're going to be good ones. Well, if you want to be liked, you know, don't be a cop. cop. There's probably some exceptions. And then, and then it makes them decent people get shittier because they like they think they should be liked because any anyone is susceptible i think to like hero talk yeah, i yeah. experienced that in public defender world where like oh like older attorneys were like you guys are the new civil rights leaders or attorneys or whatever and it's like nah you can't tell a 23 year old that well similarly you can't tell a 23 year old we are the only thing standing between the scum downfall mm-hmm. of society and the piss ant poor people who don't eat, you know, and it's like, yeah, of course you start to resent the public. If you right. think you are the only thing keeping them from just like anarchy and crime. And a lot of them don't like you. Of course, anyone's going to turn a little sour. Now give that sour person a gun. Now throw on top of that, that that sour person is fucking five foot six and already was shitty and his dad beat him. Well, I took to Reddit, uh, so you know it's got to be true. And um, so the the post was, what, what, who has the worst cops in the world? And Yusafa Rocks uh, said that the real answer is the Nigerian police force. They're ranked as the number one worst police department in the world. Uh, and anyone saying the U.S. or other developed countries has never gotten an informed uh, opinion on anything outside of their bubble. Kenya is very high on the list. Iraq, Sudan, Afghanistan, Russia. Uh, so, you know, basically well, what Trey said. I, well, but it's because like, like some of those places, those are really the army. Right. Yeah, there's probably it's probably a real like, gray like, uh, dividing line between the yeah. two in a lot of these countries. I would imagine like they're effectively right. the same thing. Right. Are you asking me, you know, which police force is responsible for the most deaths or in a traffic stop? Who's the scariest? I don't feel like Kenyan police do that, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely. Yeah, wrong they may not even fool with traffic stops, you know, right. Right, period. Or yeah. they were like they have a traffic division and their job is to, you know, murder the king's political enemies. I don't know that. I could be wrong. Yusafa might be right. But that's also, you just gave it to a vote. I mean, that's all Reddit was doing was, like, giving it to a vote. I just think Mark is very smart and well He is very smart. Stuff. He is. And so it makes He's smart sense. Mark. Yeah. Uh, if, if Trey hadn't opened with Mark saying that, I might have been like, yeah, I don't know. It's got to be somebody worse than our developed nation. Right. Uh, so this is a hard left turn another thing i wanted to ask y'all about i just randomly thought of a word yesterday that i think is a southern word y'all tell me if it's a southern word and y'all like it we might have brought this up before i feel like a long long time ago we've been doing this for seven years and i think maybe we talked about this like six years ago but the word foundered y'all got foundered found- yeah yeah when you eat too many ribs at that word hits for me First so of hard all, i that, foundered because, myself because I say it's it all like, the time it's a net. Of course you do. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Right. Yeah. Drew probably it's, don't, but me and you do. Pigs may do it. Mark has Horses. no idea what it means. Uh, but <laughs> like, it, I was thinking, you know how, like, you know how, uh, you know, <laughs> I think this is a bullshit urban legend, whatever, but like Eskimos got 500 words for snow or whatever. Yeah. Or like Germans have like schadenfreude is the right. only word for what that is. And it's like, that's a useful word. Like yeah. we, that's why we use it. I feel like foundered is like, there's not another word that means Peak that. Peak yourself right? to death. Right. Like one word that means what foundered means. There's not a replacement. And it's like, it's it's relevant to, you know, life as an American, especially. American, For you know sure. what I mean? So like, I just Can think that word hits. Can you verb? Can you what? glutton? Oh, glutton, glutton. Glut, gluttoned yourself or gl- glutton. But then you would have to say to death because gluttony doesn't just mean to death. Because like, okay, let me ask y'all where the first time y'all heard it was. Because obviously, are you saying I, foundered means die? 
It, no, well, I don't mean that. Well, hold on. I thought it, I thought this is, well, only because this is the first time I ever heard the word used. It's when I was a kid because there were horses about. Right? It is a horse. It is and originally they, a and, horse. Time. Yeah. And so That's they would true. say, you, you can't just leave all this feed out because a horse will just eat and eat and eat and it will founder itself. And I literally, thought, I always thought it meant eat until they die. No. And so you're not actually, because I, I, I guess yeah. I Googled this earlier because I was thinking about this. I want to talk to you all about it. Uh, it is originally a horse term and it don't necessarily mean that they have to die, but basically, you know, that it can, it doesn't have to be food related. It can also just be like, come up lame a horse that founders it's like it's it don't hit as a horse no more which right. we all know that means you glue they get they get killed yeah right yeah. even if they don't die themselves they're going to get shot because we've determined yeah. that like if a horse can't horse it's got no business being alive and so, i agree like if right? i was a yeah. horse and i couldn't horse i'd be like somebody shoot me we yeah but i know plenty strip. of people that can't people and fucking i know. want to die if i can't people Please. I, we, I, I think we fair. should write a script uh, where Ronnie has to save the horse they want to shoot because <laughs> it's foundered because it's the only vehicle yeah. he's allowed to drive now that they took his bicycle from him. Yeah. <laughs> and he really identifies with the horse. Where it's like, oh, so it's not useful, so you just shoot it. You know, it really teaches the town. Hey, I think that's a real. that could be a real sweet, heartwarming uh, story. right? There. That's like some peanut butter falcon stuff, I think. Yeah, it might just be the plot to Simple Jack from yeah, Tropic, Tropic Thunder. Thunder. Uh, yeah. leave a horse riding our word. Yeah. <laughs> so, Real so, quick, but I was, it means oh. it just like Corey, the way I always, first time you asked, first time I ever heard it was my mama cat who was like, you know, big, big re, yep, big, real big. big and, uh, cook, cook the best catfish you ever had in your life. Mm -hmm. Like literally owned a country diner when I was a kid. Like she, she was in the kitchen. She was hell, dude. This woman was a yeah. terror in the kitchen. You could not fuck with her in the kitchen. And she was big. And anyway, she's the first person I've ever heard say foundered. And it's like, and I looked it up in the colloquial use of it is like, it's when you eat so much of one thing that A, you get sick, but also you get sick in a way that you're like, that don't hurt for me no more. Right, like right. I don't, yeah, like I don't want, that's too much. Like the first time I ever ate sushi in my life, it hit for me so hard. I foundered myself on it. Yep. And then I didn't eat sushi again for like, six months or something after that and it's like it's a real thing I've it's a hidden it. word do they have that word in california or minnesota hmm. or maine well, minnesota it, yes the question is do they the midwest it? has to have it right yeah. <laughs> hmm. if it's a horse word, word i mean i right. can see it being a southern word because of our horse culture but there's new york horse culture too yeah, and there's fat yeah, folks I mean, in hell, New York. Burbank, there's Burbank horse culture. Yeah, but them show <laughs> horses. Also no, true. they can't. No, they're not show horses. I mean, well, I mean, they have show horses out here, but they got regular ass riding horses and stuff. Yeah, there. it's just and they're I they're need... rich people right horses, and the rich people don't founder. No, but well, I don't know. Rich fat people, dude. Some some rich people go in. Yeah, well, that's, that's true. Like, yeah, that's Used like to at least. I'm just right. saying, most rich people you see now. Don't think Henry like, VIII ever founded? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Hold on just a second. Hold on just William a second. Taft, you're talking about, hold on, motherfucker. You're talking okay. about, you're talking about past rich, because back in the past, all the riches was fats. Now, when you see a rich person, they're always talking about, I have de-aged myself. My penis is 18 years old. Like I it's got a, a blood different boy. Yeah, it's a different time. Like rich people now are like jacked and and you know eat fucking lentil and shit like that. But yeah, dude, like. Pre-depression, rich, fatter than fuck. You're correct. I mean, that's why gout is is called what it is. You know, Elon Musk has foundered. He don't weird, look good. That weird body. There's yeah. Well, he's a evil and being inbred will do that to you. I want to ask you guys because it's bothered me ever since I thought of it for years now. This is related to what we were talking about. Is comeuppance not? Sasha, Sasha, say that word. Schadenfreude, Schadenfreude when someone gets their comeuppance. Isn't that what comeuppance is? Is that not? But no, Schadenfreude is the, is the pleasure you derive from yes. seeing someone get their uh, comeuppance. Uh, comeuppance yeah. is the thing happening itself. Schadenfreude is how that makes you feel. I right. That person don't. You see somebody get their comeuppance right. and they don't hit for you, you feel Schadenfreude. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's funny that the Germans are to so terrible with feelings, but then have specific words for specific ones. Yeah. Because. I don't know any other ones that hit, but I know of that Germany has a bunch of schadenfreude type words, and it and it does really hit for me. 
And it makes sense that they would be the ones to have a word for deriving pleasure from someone's misery. That's very yep. German. <laughs> yep, yep, that's, yep. that's true. It's also funny that like, they're like, listen, we don't feel joy much. Right. So when we do, we're going to invent words for the different types of joy right. that we get to feel. You're going to feel right. joy seven times in your life. We need seven right. different words for it. <laughs> and also one of them is exclusively from others pain, like Joe said. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like you remember, what was it? I, we all saw this together, and it cracked us up immediately, but I can't remember the specifics. The way that, like, right, schadenfreude, even if you speak English, you say schadenfreude for that word because we don't have a word for it. And then, like, uh, French, you know, there's deja vu, and, like, yeah. uh, there's, what, uh, uh, like, uh, je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi, like, which we got that one, though, right? Yeah, it means, it just, don't it just mean, like, it's, uh, what, I don't know I don't what. know. I don't know yeah. what. Yes, yeah. yeah. so been over that before. Factor. Always crack. Always crack me. But up. It, no, it literally it means, means I don't know what. Yes, it does. Yes, but it literally translates to I don't know what. Which again, right. I've said like this well, I don't know what it me. is, but whatever it is, they've got right. it. You know? And as soon as I found that out, it cracked me up because like I've heard so many old boys say that they start to make like a redneck ism where it's like God damn son, it's hotter than a, and then they they don't have they don't have it, so they're like hotter than damn. I don't, I don't know, know what. what, and it's like that's all je ne sais quoi means, uh, yeah. and that's funny to me. But anyway, in we were watching. I don't remember how this happened. We were watching a video. I think we like Googled, "Are there any black people in Russia?" or something. <laughs> I feel like we were high in a hotel, and we were like, are, "Are there are there Russian black people?" And we Googled it, and there's a you know just a handful, but they do exist. And we found this video of a Russian black guy talking. And he was speaking fully in Russian, but every now and then he would say, I don't think it was literally racist, but it was some word like that. Like every now and then he'd say racist in like clear English. Right. And we were like, bro. So in <laughs> other places, when they have to talk about horrific racism, they switch into our <laughs> language because like that's the only one that does it justice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we're the like. It's so funny to me. I wish we, I could remember we, the specific word, but it was something like that. I think it was. That, well, I, I feel like our theory on it was we were the first country mainstream to, like, call people Have out other types for of it. people? To <laughs> call people out for it. Like, right. It didn't it used to be a it thing. It wasn't racist in Russia. It was just Tuesday. Right. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. By the way, side note, um, if – Someone told me there was a UFC fight this weekend, and one of the guys was a black guy from Russia. With zero more information, I would bet my house on that motherfucker to win. Yeah, it's a good combo. Um, yeah, I tried to but Google. American black people give us the sense that black people are always better athletes. It's not even just a better athlete. It's like, what must he have endured in Russia? Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. I'd have to know who he was fighting, though. You know what I mean? Like, there's some other places where you got to endure. That's true. Bro, and, I mean, just sticking with Russia, like them Chechnyans or whatever, mm -hmm. you don't want to fuck with them, dog. Hell oh, no. Man. They wild. If I hear Chechen, I'm out. I got no more Bigger questions. Up, fucking running from snipers on their way to school. Your papa didn't know shit. Fucking five miles both ways with no <laughs> shoes on in the snow. They was getting shot at every day. Drew, you might know this. Um, I'm only a tiny bit hip to, like, the British rap scene because of like POA and like seeing some stuff on TikTok, but surely there's some hard ass Russian motherfuckers out there spitting Russian rap. Uh, yeah, there yeah. is. I mean, French rap is the one that I know that as far as I know is the, I guess, biggest outside of English rap, but it's just like, we rap is the lyrics for most people or at least right. the hook. At least yeah, the hook. We, right. And so I just don't think it's ever, like it's hard to cross over. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, what's guess... weird to me about that is as somebody who'd be listening to like Norwegian death metal and shit from time to time, you know, and a lot of, I mean, well, Russia is different. Russia is not in the, it's in the East. It's not the West. So that makes a difference. But I feel like in a lot of other genres in those other countries, like bands, if they want to hit, the, I mean, you know, they speak English. Their, their songs are in English usually. Right. They might do a couple in their native tongue, but usually they sing in English. So, You'd think that, think, like, rappers would be rapping in English, too. But, again, maybe not – I don't know any Russian death metal bands. That's, so, but that's know. harder. Singing without an accent, I think, is a little easier than literally rapping without an accent. Yeah, you're probably right. And I think Because rapping also, so fast and rhythmic yes, and all that. 
move, and, bitch, get out the way. Well, actually, you know, they do. I mean, British rapper. I mean, that's a good point. You're you're definitely right because, like, you can hear it. I there. used to think when I was a kid, you, I'd find out a band that my dad liked was British and like singing. They don't sound British, you know right. what I mean? Right. But like British rappers, dude, they sound British as fuck. Like, and I sound, like grime. British yeah. grime rap, like I like that shit. Um, it's like repetitive. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Syllables, like they hit the same, not syllable, sound. What the fuck word am I looking for? What describe it? When two things rhyme, what rhymes is the rhyme? The rhyme? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. The scheme. It's like real repetitive. Instead of like yeah, a yeah. b b c c, it's like a a a a a a a b b b b b b c. And that fucking hits for me if it's done well. And it just sounds kind of Shakespearean in their accents. And then they're also are always talking shit about stabbing people because they don't have guns. And yeah. that really hits for me yeah. to hear a fucking like British drug dealer talking about how he had to gut somebody. Yeah. Them old them old fucks is from are they from England or Ireland? Those are England. not real you, people. Those are okay. young British rappers who've hired actors. Drew, don't do that. Nah. Please don't do they that. They sound old. They, they do old. sound old. Are yeah, you sure like that? Yeah, are you sure that young rappers don't just write the verses for them and the papaws yeah. deliver? So, if people don't, we're talking about British papaw rap is a thing, yeah. and it hits and for it me. rules. And it, my favorite group in the genre is the Northern Boys, yep. and uh, they, their seminal hit "Party Time." I recommend yep. it highly. <laughs> uh, and Pete and Baz, but Pete and Baz, Baz they are actually the biggest ones, I think. Yeah, they're the OGs, they're the like original. Said. And of course that has occurred to me, but I don't want to believe that. I won't believe these papaws are spitting bars. And I'm saying at the very least, are they ghost written, but the papaws still do it? Corey, like Corey that's, said, they sound old. That's to me. Hey, listen, I, that's fine. But as long as they're the ones rapping it, I fucking a hundred percent still in. And it sound they sound, they be sound old. I, they you, can, you guys should just like do whatever makes you happy, but this would be like, over there, the people who are doing it are so big. This would basically be like if J. Cole had done this and you guys were like, I don't think it's J. Cole. Like, the people who are doing it are famous. Whoa. No. You're telling me that it's a known thing over there? Yes. They do No. They know, they know the rappers who are doing it. That's what you're yes. saying? No. Are you, so you're not just speculating no. you've looked into no. this? They don't even no. attempt kayfabe? Like, they not. They did. They did. T they did have kayfabe, but also it's part of it. It's fucking theater. But recently, it's funny you bring that up. They caught shit for doing a video of their own on Pete and Baz's Instagram page, and a lot of people were playing along in the comments. They were like, "Man, these guys sound like Pete and Baz," but then a lot of other people were like, "Yo, don't do this, man. Like, this was fun." Um, I'm, yeah. I don't know if I can do the rest of this show. All right. Well, the last thing I'll say. Yeah, I guess I am. Well, the last thing I'll say, this won't upset you guys. My favorite line in the last, it, it's very offensive, but it's so funny. There's a British rapper, and I'm forgetting his name. He has this line, and I think it went viral on TikTok. People were using it in videos. How the fuck can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. That is so <laughs> goddamn fucking funny, dude. It is. <laughs> so I love it. Okay, it's a lie, you know. But okay, Drew, since you know so much about this, how they be sound old? They are old. Rappers is old now, dog. No, Snoop is old. Okay, but but you're but what you're saying is it's young people doing them raps, and they're just making the no, old people do the videos. It's like Fifty year old doing them raps. A. B. I'm saying that it turns out when you see an old person talking, it sounds old to you. Yeah, I mean, he's probably right about it, that. It at least plays a little bit of a role in it. It I would definitely say. does, for sure. And God damn, man. God I mean, damn. I definitely you before. Here's why I'm mad. I've told you this before, and it's clear to me that you guys are just like, ah, fuck him. He don't know shit. Yeah, I, or at least I wanted to believe that you didn't know shit. It has definitely occurred to me, of course, that like I thought you guys were both doing a bit. You're blowing my mind, Trey. It's never even occurred to me, buddy. I bought it, it fucking hook line. It definitely <laughs> occurred to me that someone while. else was writing it, but I definitely thought they were getting these papaws to actually do the rapping. And that, I mean, hell, Drake got a ghostwriter, right? Fuck right. That was shit. that was a leading theory for a while. Don't let me pretend like I knew it immediately. I guess I should back off on you blowing my mind. They did fool. 
Britain for a while. By the time I discovered these guys, it was like out and known. You know what I mean? But it's like also if you pay attention to the video, there's at least one of those old men in the Party Boys or the Northern Boys yeah. who can't do it. Like he he. He cannot even lip sync as fast as his guy raps. Well, I just figured that was like, well, he's moving around and stuff, so he's just off a little bit, you know, like that. Yeah. I damn. I really didn't know you really believed it or I would have just stopped. I tried okay. to stop. I it wouldn't hit for me if I didn't believe. I have it, a... Dude, it hit super hard for me. First of all, those guys get to do concerts. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to go to one of those shows, bro. Me it, too. Oh, right. Why, okay, what about that? So it's it's Millie Vanilli shit at their concerts? That's my understanding. I don't know if they still do it. I mean, these guys have been big over there, I think, for like six, seven years. So it's possible this is over. Like, it was a fad and it's over. It's like I'm speaking about things I've read about in articles that were already old. So they're – all right. I Googled it, and there's a Reddit thread on, on R Grime, right? Grime, which is British rap. And I'm, I haven't seen the video, obviously. I just now searched for it. But on our ground, there's a video posted with the caption. This is for those who think Pete and Baz aren't actually rapping in their songs. And then just from reading the comments, there's people in here saying shit like, anybody who's ever seen them live knows that they're real. And people are acknowledging that the that they don't write it. Like people are saying, right. they're not, I guess Dapper Laughs is a guy who's ghostwritten some of them, apparently. Whoever that is, I guess he's a grime dude. Uh, but anyway, like this other dude says, if your producer had any sensitivity to sound or had ever seen them live, it would be obvious. It is actually the old guys rapping. You're just this ageist. Is, this is part <laughs> of the bit. Right. Like every, I got, everyone's in on it, in my opinion. And also, like, I've deep dived on it. I mean, you can go listen to the dude who does it and the dude who is the other guy with, with, with Pete and Bass. For all I know, the Northern Boys – got the idea and were inspired and they rule i don't know shit about the northern boys y'all can still have the northern they're real that's real they're they're real but the first two you can go listen to the rappers who are doing it i mean it's it's again it's well like, i don't know like, nothing about them right. i don't know nothing about them all i know is the northern boys and well to you me, know me i see northern i don't fuck with it anyway so you're i don't know nothing about them yeah, well, you know, but you know, over there, they they keep their dumbasses in the north. Yeah, right? I've heard and they're that. different, and they're uppity I've people in the it's south. It's the exact opposite of believe. here. Hard for me to believe. It's true. We've I've seen I've seen it. Yep. Um, yeah, over there, north hits south. North. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very hard. It's just like the left side of the road is where you drive on. Right. Everything is just completely opposite. Oh, that makes sense. I said that we, we did we did shows over there, and I went on stage, and I and I just said I was, I was like, so let me get this straight. Over here, y'all keep your dumb asses in the north, and the fancy people are in the south, and it hit real hard, which yeah. really hit for me because I was I you know I didn't know if they'd know where about I was coming from. Yeah, about, right. Yes, exactly. They got it. Yeah, with my accent. Well, it's funny because we had a tour guide, and I'd asked him. I was like, do you think like because I was really sweating it. I was like, dude, are, are they gonna? Do they know? That like I sound dumb in America, you know, or whatever. And he's like, I think they know, mate. You know, he's, he's like, oh, mate. in America. Oh, you know? mate. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's actually a bit of a global phenomenon on that one. You sound I dumb to, now. I actually <laughs> follow a woman who is a comic who's pretty big over there at a bar show. I felt bad because I, I found out later she got there like an hour early. It was her only show that night. And it was a decent bar show, but that night was a slow night. Uh, but I had to follow her. And I, I touched on like how our accent is supposed to be the closest to Elizabethan and how like hilarious it is that you hear her and now I'm up here. Yeah. And linguists are like, these are the same. And everyone in here is like, nah, he's fucking stupid. And she was yeah. really smart. <laughs> yeah. And I hit for her. Adele yeah. got that dumb, dumb voice over there. Like she Adele? got the dumb. I don't yeah, know how Adele talked. Do an Adele real quick, Joe. I bet you can do it. I've never heard her talk, I don't think. Is it oh. cockney? Look, there's Oprah, my show. Nailed it. It's Cockney, right? Yeah. I mean, the well, Cockney is definitely, they're like, Cockney is like, they're, hey, the fuck you doing? I'm fucking walking it. Like yeah. that, you know, because it's London as opposed uh, to New York. Like, and then, but they've got like uh, various shades of dumbass. Yeah, and they're not Manchester, all. It's not all. all cockney like they got for something sure. in the mouth in Manchester. They just talk like they just. I thought that was Liverpool. Liverpool. I think that is right. Liverpool, right. isn't it? Right. Uh, yeah, uh, 
uh, Peaky Blinders. Yeah, uh, what, no. it, like, uh, fuck, God damn it. I haven't watched it in a long time. When I was watching Peaky Blinders, I could do an all right Tommy Shelby, but I can't remember it now. Anyway, they're Manchester, I believe. Um, but yeah, yeah. they are. Uh, or, or are they Birmingham? You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Birmingham. Right. And, they, and that Birmingham. accent's called Brummy, I think. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. Yep. I don't like that. That word gives me the ick. And also, Brummy. I like Brummy. Gives me the ick. Yeah. I could Br- be yeah. wrong. No, you're not. You're pretty Brummies. sure you're right. Uh, Manchester and Birmingham, they're like right there beside each other uh, in the northern part of England. I think and- Gino Temple got that dipshit voice too. And by the way, I'm not saying these people sound like a dipshit. I'm just saying I'm pretty sure that that accent over there is their. Bam, 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 bam. Maybe. What do you, but do you think? Do you think over there? It elicits fear in no, people. No, right. if I don't know, maybe if you're maybe posh and you're in, an in a convenience store. Fear. Yeah, if you're in a, if you're posh and you're in a convenience store at one a.m. and she's like, "What shit? Fuck! He told me all this," you know, like <laughs> yeah. might. No, maybe they're, just they're like, afraid Ew. of immigrants. That's the Richie I, accent. There's, there's no British accent that elicits not in me. God damn it, not in me. Uh, yeah, right. Just, it's not scary. Well, yeah. No, yeah, no, I, I don't mean for Americans. Not for us. I for, mean, like, the way that for the our plane. accent does Californians here, not all of them, but some of them, the way some Californians like, oh, no, when they hear our accent. <laughs> like, I'm assuming posh motherfuckers over there probably do that with a Brummie or with a Cockney or that type of thing, but maybe not. I don't know. I still think it's immigrants, I, but I think oh, it's I my bias. Too. They're definitely afraid of immigrants. Like, oh, dude. <laughs> they're uh, white. Yeah. <laughs> like, is there a white country on earth that isn't afraid of immigrants? Uh, Aren't they the original white country? <sighs> I don't know. I'd say them Viking motherfuckers is probably the OG white country. Don't no, the think? Vikings and the Britons warred with each other for a long time. So right, but the Vikings came to Britain. But and yeah, but a lot I, of shit up. Right, I guess I'm thinking of a nation. But I guess Finland and Scotland or uh, Norway did sort of exist. I mean, hell, the Romans and Greeks were what were they olive skin? They but were Mediterranean. Yeah, that like pale, sunless, milky white. I think you got. You got the Vikings, the Britons, and I guess whatever they were doing in Russia at the time. I don't know what was the going Ruskies. on in Russia. Yeah. You think Sweden but, racist? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, there's a whole thing right now. I only know this because of Reddit, but like, they're like, it, 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 Drew talking about being afraid of immigrants. The whole immigration thing, that ain't just some here shit. Oh, of they're course. like, Except over there, they're Mexicans as Muslims, right? right. Like over there, and they're they, coming from all corners. You right. know? And it's like, but they, dude, you get on Reddit, man, and on a certain type of news story or something about like a stabbing in Sweden and it was a Muslim guy or whatever. And it's nothing but fucking the Swedish equivalent of build the wall stuff. Right. It's like, you know, they've heard the wall. Yeah. 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 the wall and then the house. Yeah. 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 Right, because uh, they – and the way they put it is like – I'm saying these commenters I'm talking about. It's like you know they get jerked off a lot by progressives over here for being super progressive, right. which compared to us they are. But then these people are like, yeah, and it's fucked us because look at all these goddamn Muslims, right? And that's basically their, Jesus. kind of their thing. It's like I think they're like 20% Muslim immigrants or something now, and of course to hear these people tell it. All 20 of those percentage points are just stabbing, stabbing and raping 20, and robbing and everything. You know, they're not sending wait, their best type 20% of, of their immigrants are Muslim or 20% no. of the population is now Muslim. I, I think I read that the other day. I don't know Bro, if it was Sweden that, specifically like, that would or make like any country have turmoil, period. Right, yeah. Well, that's kind of their thing. They're like, yeah, you can't just you can't just let everybody in fucking, no, you I know. Mean, you can, but it's going to cause turmoil. <laughs> right, right. And that's what that's what's you know happening over there. They be on some big uh, you know Muslims don't hit shit, and it's the equivalent. I know over here Muslims also don't hit for a lot right. of America, but like like I said, when we talk, when people talk about immigrant migrants over here, they're talking about people from all those different versions of Mexico coming right. up here to steal jobs and sell drugs and shit. When they talk about it over there, they're talking about Muslim refugees or muslims coming from muslim it's like a reverse crusade you know right for them do you guys think it's so this is like darkly funny to me what's happening right now in palestine gaza it's not going to make the world like muslims anymore it's just that now they're also going to hate jews 
Like that's like that's the we're gonna right. be instead of the world's like, God yeah. damn, maybe we should give Muslims a break right now, considering what's going on. It's like, nah, we'll just hate Jews too. Can we just do that? I yeah. totally think that's how it'll go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, you know, it's very I'm much in a little bit of that. Yeah. That it's, yeah. Uh, I definitely see some of that. Yeah. It's a, it's a, well, I tell you what, complicated that, you know. Me and DJ were talking the other day and um, he was like talking about people saying anti Semitism. People were like, anti Semitism is why people are shitting on Israel right now. And he was like, bullshit. And I was like, you know, darkly, I actually do in a fucked up way think that is what's going on. It literally is does feel like sometimes it's like you are allowed to bomb a country as long as you're a white country. It's it's like it's fucked up like right. you sh- well, we should do you know what I'm saying? I think that Israel deserves all the shit they're getting, but I do think there are a lot of people out there who are taking this as a nice opportunity to talk about how Jews don't hit or whatever. Right. Of course. You know what I mean? Ben's saying it. A lot of Ben right. saying it going on. A lot of Ben saying it happening of course, right now, yes. Of course, but what I'm saying is no one should be allowed to genocide. Mm. They are right, it seems to me, though, that we just let white countries genocide. Do you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, it's like goddamn y'all let them do it and it's like ah oh, yeah we did we shouldn't have though <laughs> you know what i mean yeah yeah it's gotta be frustrating for israel too because they're like for the last time please consider us white you know right. and all the rest of the white world is like no you don't hit it. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just like such a funny thing it's like can you believe they won't let us genocide i think it's just because we're jews and it's like right i hate to tell you that you're right but that it, that is why we don't want to let you genocide but you still have to stop just for the record mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, genocide don't hit. Genocide don't hit. We've been saying it. Been, been saying, saying it. it. That's a, I'm gonna do that as a character. Ben saying it like that's yeah. a dude's ben, name. Yes, B E N. Yeah, saying it all one word. Ben so, saying yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a good Papaw character. Yeah. yeah. It sounds. I think after the third video, it's all racism. Though. Are you about to say it sounds yes. Muslim? I, uh, it sounds something. It yeah, don't sound it like a papa. It sounds like yeah. some kind of ethnic name. So yeah. you'd have to do some brown face and an offensive voice to really make a hit. But I support that. I think you should. Well, uh, that would hit for people. Um, is, yeah, I've been saying it. I've been sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to figure out a way, uh, but no, nah, I can't. There's a uh, no ethnicity that I can paint my face uh, to, and that'd be good. Uh-uh. Italian? Do you get, I, yeah. you could do brown face like a it's light a, and, brown face? Yeah. And just say you're Italian. <laughs> yeah. Just rub a bunch of like tomato sauce on your face <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just be. I, attach, dude, attach a woman's face to your fist. Uh, yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, man. Well. Well. Where are y'all gonna be this week? You in Canada, ain't you, bitch? Very, very briefly, I'm, I'm popping by for one night only in Vancouver this Friday. And then after that, Saturday, I'm in Seattle. And uh, that's it for this little Pacific Northwest run. So y'all come and see me. But then coming up in the near future, pretty soon, it's starting back up in uh, full effect. And I'll be going all over the goddamn place for the whole rest of the year and going into 2025. So go to com and check them dates out and come see me. I'm in Nashville tonight, but this will come out tomorrow. So fuck that stupid shit, Drew. You're a professional. Get it together. Uh, Knoxville, I'm doing a private BDSM club. I'm pretty stoked about that. It's a private Hell show. Yeah. I'm not even sure anyone's allowed to come. I just wanted everyone to know. Oh, they'll be coming. Yeah. Hey. Just, hey. No, they're not allowed to. Uh, not yeah. If, no, uh, okay. um, <laughs> you can't let the pick. Oh, great. I think I'm losing service right now. Hey, I can not, hear you. I think it's just Trey that froze. Okay, uh, I'll be in Knoxville at doing some don't tells in May. I'm not supposed to like, I'm not the headliner or like whatever. Uh, and then I'll be in Nashville June 25th and Bristol June 21st and 22nd. Come to Bristol and Nashville shows. Yeah, uh, and I am at home. Uh, go to bonuscory.com, check out all the shit I'm doing over there. I just uh, put up a new three clicks to Hitler fun game we're playing over there. I call it three clicks in a hick. The game on the internet is actually three clicks to Hitler, but I don't want to call it that in the title, so it's three clicks and a hick. Uh, You know what that is, don't you, Drew? Yeah, but how do you pick a starting point? So normally you do uh, just – you go to random Wikipedia generator, but I've I've started cheating a little bit because I want them to be guaranteed to be interesting. So this week uh, I started with John Wilkes Booth's daddy – but my rule was I couldn't click on a John Wilkes Booth uh, or Lincoln link. I had to I had to do something else. I handcuffed myself a little bit. 
Um, and the reason yeah, that you I pick a, you pick a random Wikipedia page and then within three clicks of hyperlinks in Wikipedia, you have you should to end be up able to Hitler. That's right. Yeah. And I picked the uh, I picked a booth because this week on the other thing I'd like to promote, putting on airs, I will be talking about the Booth brothers, the uh, Baldwins of their time, and that's all mm -hmm. they're known for was being actors. So listen to putting mm -hmm. on airs, listen to weekly skews on Tuesdays, listen to Gravy Baby, everything in the skew universe, and also thank you all for listening to the Well Read Show. We love <clears throat> we fuck <clears throat> sorry. I almost had a panic attack. Uh, we, uh, how does it go? We like well, stick, around stick around longer, longer but we got to, got to go. go. A tune, tune in next, next week, week if you got, got nothing, nothing to do. To do. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. Good night and skew. Hey, Corey. And we gon' talk a lot. Dress real fancy, sit in our chairs, sip on our tea, putting on airs. We collected from our love of Downton Abbey. We collected, we found out we're both so fancy. Hey, what's the difference between rednecks and royal families? Only money, cause they both have sex with family. Ew. Putting on airs. What other rednecks to talk about foreign affairs? <laughs> Laughing so hard that we end up falling out our chairs. Sir Trey, Sir Corey, oh what a pair High class topics with a redneck flair, oh yeah Two rednecks but we're still fancy, putting on airs We might not know much about history, we don't care We gon' get drunk and we talk about yachts We gon' get drunk and we gon' talk a lot Dress real fancy, sit in our chairs, sip on our tea, putting on airs Two rednecks but we're still fancy, putting on airs We might not know much about history, we don't care We gon' get drunk and we talk about yachts we gon' get drunk and we gon' talk a lot. Dress real fancy, sit in our chairs, sip on our tea, putting on airs. Okay, it's Team Squirrel or Team Trey. Oh yeah, we keeping it basic. He thinks that the squirrels at Corey's mom's house are racist. And you know squirrels live in the same place for generations. So Trey, you better count your days and you better count your blessings. Cause all the squirrels that you ran over, that you think are nameless, faceless. Their families are getting together and plotting on you from the attic and basement. So even though Corey is dumb, fat, and bald, he knows how to avoid drama, don't get squirrels involved. Two rednecks, but we're still fancy, putting on airs. We might not know much about history, we don't care. We gon' get drunk and we talk about yachts. We gon' get drunk and we gon' talk a lot. Dress real fancy, sit in our chairs, sip on our tea, putting on airs. Two rednecks, but we're still fancy, putting on airs. We might not know much about history, we don't care. We gon' get drunk and we talk about yachts. We gon' get drunk and we gon' talk a lot. Dress real fancy, sit in our chairs, sip on our tea. Putting on airs.